Dear brothers and sisters in Islam and humanity, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the show, Ramadan, a date with Dr. Zakia. I'm your host, Yusuf Chambers, and today we are discussing the topic, Qiyam al-Layl, the night's prayer. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Dr. Zakia, I would call upon you to resolve one of the most common disputes in the Muslim Ummah during the month of Ramadan regarding the number of rakat that are prayed in the Taraweh or the Qiyam al-Layl or the night prayer. Is it eight or should it be twenty? <laughs> Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the Book of Salah, hadith number 472, he said, that when the person asked that how should you offer the Qiyamul Layl, the Prophet said that he should offer Qiyamul Layl in two rakat, followed by two rakat, followed by two rakat, followed by two rakat, and so on. And when he feels that dawn is approaching, he should offer one rakat. So all the rakat become bitter, become odd. That means you can pray as many as you wish. Later on, have a one number, an odd number, so that everything becomes odd. So as far as the number of rakat are concerned, you can pray as many as you wish. But as far as the practice of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is concerned, this mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Tahajjud, hadith number 1147, that Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet, while offering Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, used to always offer 11 rakat, not more than 11 rakat. And this is to do even other months. That means eight rakat of Qiyamul Layl and three rakat of Vitar. So it becomes eight plus three, eleven rakat. And there are various other hadith which always say that all the hadith that we find of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whether it be Bukhari, say Muslim, all of them said that he prayed rakat or this eleven rakat. Eleven includes eight plus three. And further, the same hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number two in the book of Tahajjud, hadith number one, one four seven. He has Aisha min Allah with her when she says that the Prophet always offered 11 rakat in Ramadan and even other times. And she said that he used to offer 4 rakat. And I cannot narrate to you the time, the beauty and the length of this rakat. And it's true again offer 4 rakat. And I cannot narrate to you the beauty and the length of this 4 rakat. And then he used to offer 3 rakat, negating 8 plus 3. But if you read the practice of the Salaf al-Salihin, of our predecessors, of the Sahabas, the Tabain, Tabi Tabain. We find from records that they prayed 11 rakat, some prayed 13, some prayed 19, some prayed 23, some prayed 36, some prayed 39 rakats also. And if you read the Musanna Ibn Abi Shaiba, volume number two, page number 165-166, it says that the Tabain when they offered the Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, which is known as Tarawi, they offered 20 rakat. Some place it says that they offered 36 rakat. So as far as the rakats are concerned, as the Prophet, the call, the command of the Prophet was that read two rakat, two rakat, two rakat, two rakat, as much as you wish, then one. And as I mentioned earlier in Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 472, volume number one, you can read as many rakats as you want, in two, 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 and then one. But if you want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet, the Prophet always offered eight rakat plus three. So what is permissible? As many as you wish. Eight, 10, 20, 36, no problem. And then followed by three with that. But the Prophet offered eight plus three, 11. But you can offer as many as you wish. Well, of course you've mentioned that one could pray as much as you like in terms of uh, the number of rakat. Um, but the sunnah is eight. This is what you've said. That's it. Prophet offered eight. Alhamdulillah. But he permitted, you can offer as many as you wish. Right, right. So, as many as you like, but the sunnah is eight. However, um, if a person or a group of people pray eight in one hour, and another group of people pray twenty in one and a half hours, which would you say is the best? The theory of question has got uh, two portions. One is the number of rakat, other is the length. As I mentioned in the earlier answer, that the longer it is, the better it is. The Prophet said that. And the other is that any rakat is fine, Prophet offered eight. 
Now, you know, 8 and 1 hour is better or 20 and 1 and a half hour is better? Before I answer this question, I'll tell you that if a person is offering his salah in a mosque, which is praying in congregation 8 rakat, he should not get up and pray additional 12 and make it 20, because he feels 20 is better. Neither should a person who is offering taraweeh or the qiyamul layl in Ramadan offers his qiyamul layl in a mosque which is offering 20 rakat in Jama. He should not offer 8 rakat and walk out because the Prophet said that a person who prays along with the Imam and ends with the Imam, it is as though he has offered the Salah for the whole night. So we should be more tolerant and agree that the Prophet allowed all types. If a person wants to offer 20, if he's offering in a mosque of 8 rakat in Jamaat, of 8 rakat in Jamaat, he can go home and offer the remaining balance of the 20, that's 12 rakat. As far as the question is concerned, which is better, 8 rakat and 1 hour, or 20 rakat and 1 and a half hour? Here again, as I said, that the call, the commandment of the Prophet is that you can offer as many as you wish, and the longer it is, the longer it is better. But the Prophet offered long and 8 rakat. So if you ask me which is better, both acceptable, but the better would be that if he offers the same length but with eight rakat. Same length, eight rakat, whether it be one hour, two hours, or three hours. So if you ask me one hour with eight rakat is better or one hour with twenty rakat is better, I would prefer one hour with eight rakat. But as your question is, if it's one hour with eight rakat and one and a half hour with twenty rakat, I would prefer twenty rakat one and a half hour. Because the call of the Prophet is longer the better which you're doing. And again, the call is you can offer as many as you wish. So I would prefer 20 rakat and one and a half hour rather than eight rakat and one hour. And that's what we see in the Harmain. They're 20 rakat, but they have long for approximately two hours there. And in the other mosques, they have eight rakat and shorter duration. But in both the Harmain, Masjid, Harmain, Makkah and Medina, mashallah, they have for long hours. As it is the Harmain, you get multiple rewards. You get 1,000 times in the Masjid al-Nabwi and 100,000 in Masjid al wow. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Zakir, regarding that uh, superb answer. I think we've, um, uh, once again, we've learned an awful lot about uh, this particular aspect, the night prayer, uh, Qiyam al-Layl, um, during the month of Ramadan, alhamdulillah, and hopefully we will all take as much benefit as possible and implement it during this Ramadan and the coming Ramadans, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Brothers and sisters, I truly hope, inshallah, that you have benefited enormously.